Thanksgiving a year ago. No emergency care for work. I should have to come. To... What's going on there, ma'am? And my neighbors. Oh, I'm so nervous. My neighbors next to us. Somebody has a gun. Jim Sitton tells 911 among the four people just executed, his six-year-old daughter, Michaela. She shot multiple people. I saw the blood. And in the background, you can hear Muriel, Michaela's mother. My daughter was murdered. My mom was murdered. Oh, my two cousins were murdered. Today, Muriel and her husband, Jim, say they're baffled by the legal system. A six-week nationwide manhunt led police to Paul Marriage in a hideout in the Florida Keys. I just can't believe I've, I've, I've done all this. And later, again in a recorded jailhouse phone call, Marriage confessed. It was me. It was me. It was nobody else. It was me. It's my fault. But even with the confession and eyewitnesses, Marriage has entered a not guilty plea. A trial date is still not set. It's ridiculous that in a case like this that's so open and shut, evidence-wise, that it takes that it takes years. Marriage had been a last-minute added guest to the family's Thanksgiving dinner. Inexplicably, after they shared the meal, the witnesses say he pulled two pistols and started shooting, gunning down his twin sisters, his aunt, and his six-year-old niece, Michaela. She had just gone to bed. Was she asleep? Well, you'd like to believe that she was asleep? Uh, no, she wasn't asleep. I heard her gasp. I heard her say, she went, <gasps> and then pow, pow. Walking into her room is a real comfort to me. Today, her bedroom is as it was. Their only daughter, with all her energy and tenderness, replaced by a haunting silence. Used to all of my nightmares were when I was asleep, and now they're all at when after I wake up. In their home, where the calendar remains unturned and Michaela's clothes still hang in the closet, Michaela's creative short life is now touching others. routinely recorded her daughter, and on those audio tapes, an impromptu story of a bear who befriends a unicorn. He saw the cutest little unicorn sticking right there. In her death, that story, The Bear's Castle, is now a book illustrated by a woman who lost her own daughter. People say, oh, you'll get over it with time. You don't get over it, you learn how to cover it. But what the book has done is give Muriel and Jim a way to share their daughter. The money it earns pays for disadvantaged children to participate in what Michaela so enjoyed, dance and music classes. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. To think that children are, are enjoying something that was so precious to her to share a story and I just know that that's Michaela's heart.